What's up, Rico? How you doing, brother? So, uh, how does claim responsibility work for you? Well, in my life, you know, I've been one that played the blame game a lot. I mean, the family I grew up in, a single parent family, and I learned, you know, a lot of my self-esteem was based in, you know, what my mom told me I was mm -hmm. and, and how I felt. And so, um, it related, you know, to me looking for my mother in my relationships and girl with my girlfriends and marital choices. And so that's kind of where I got my self-esteem. With claim responsibility as a tool, uh, I get my response, I get my self-esteem, my self-empowerment from uh, other sources, from my higher power, from making good choices, from service to others, just my nature as a human being, you know, and a healthy self, self-esteem. So I'm taking responsibility for today. I own today. That's great. Dealing with loss, you know, you lose somebody, you lose something. Our tendency is to blame other people, you know, so. And I see an example in you and taking ownership for your life and your recovery, too. Definitely. How would you say you're claiming responsibility today? One is I no longer blame the past. I own today. Right. I ask myself, am I proud of this choice? Yeah. So a couple of things that I'm not proud of that I'm claiming responsibility for today is the way I treated people, the way I treated women as objects. Uh, I have an incident with my sister, and um, for for many years she used to live with my mom, okay. and she had her boyfriend living there, and he wasn't doing anything. And my mom uh, had told my sister, "Well, he has to leave," mm -hmm. and my sister was like, "Well, if he leaves, I'm leaving." So my mom was like, "Well, beat it," you know. So they left. They came back the next day to get their stuff. Okay. He comes in. He sits on the couch and he puts his feet on the coffee table, and my mom was like, "Can you take uh, your feet off the coffee table? Mm -hmm. I just cleaned it." So uh, he ends up taking his feet down and he spits on the coffee table. Mm. So my mom throws a can of starch at him. And he gets up and he socks my mom in the face and he mm. kicks her in the stomach. Wow. And I had told my sister before I got incarcerated, look, all I want you to do is to take care of mom. And when she did that, I wrote her a letter and said, look, I don't want nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Pretend you don't have a brother. I don't want to hear from you. Don't ask about me. Do anything. Okay. And that's one way that I responded towards relationships. So my mom was dying, and she tells me, look, I want you to make up with your sister. I let a little time pass after my mom passed away, mm -hmm. and I eventually called my sister, and I said, look, I want to make amends, and I'm sorry. The way I treated you, the way I responded to what, you, what happened was wrong. And I said, would you be willing to come visit me? Because I had never seen her in prison or YA. She tells me I'm unable to travel because I have congenital heart disease, okay. I have diabetes. On February 3rd this year, was actually 25 years in prison for me. And it was actually the day she passed away. So holding on to this resentment and blaming her for what happened and not making amends and finding my responsibility. It sounds like you were having a lot of resentment. Oh, I did. Yeah. And just claim responsibility for today. And do I want to continue to treat people like that? Do I want to lose out on relationships? Right. You know, people deserve better. And yeah. I can do it by claiming responsibility today. Sounds like you were real close to your mom. Yeah, and, and you know, now that she passed away, she still plays a big role in my life. Uh, mm -hmm. They cremated her, and they're waiting for me to get out to spread her ashes over the ocean. Yeah. So for me, that's one of the things when it comes to Five Second Night Switch, is that's one of my goals is to get out. Mm -hmm. You know, getting high today isn't mm -hmm. as important as it once was. Okay. You know, so yeah. claim responsibility for today. Ask myself, am I proud of these choices? Yeah. That's what it's about to me. I feel you on that issue because my mom's getting old. She's in her 80s too, and she told me recently that, you know, she might be, not be with us for too much longer. You know, so I can relate to you on that because I've had to deal with my, my women issues and my mommy issues. The possibility of her being out of my life is bringing home all these things about getting my self-esteem from relationships, and from my identity as a man was skewed. I thought it meant. What it meant to be a man was to be a womanizer, to have a lot of relationships. Yeah. And, to, and that was all based in my fear. You know, so one way of owning responsibility for today, owning my feelings, owning my fears, is, is taking care of myself, learning how to take care of myself. And I also deal with that as well. And that's one way I'm claiming responsibility is to not allow my past to dictate my future because yes. I feel abandoned, Absolutely. because if I experienced hurt, because I felt like my mother passed, that old woman's going to leave me. It's not fair to treat women like objects. And that's, I, it came in a valuable lesson. I heard a lot of people in the Absolutely. process. And something I'm really sorry about. Yeah, me too. So it doesn't take 50 years to learn who I am as a man and, and how I should treat women and, and other people that mean a lot to me. You know, mm -hmm. I can learn that today. I can learn the tools. And um, something that I, just in the last year, 
it seems like a fast forward in, into my understanding and the insight. And claim responsibility is about today. It's not about the past. You may have done a lot of things. You may have experienced a lot of hurt yeah. and anger and frustration, right. but you don't have to allow that to dictate your future. Yes. Own today. Yeah. I Thank can you. be proud of that choice. Gracias, Papa. Thank you. Appreciate it.